sink, 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 sink. What's up, guys? Atom Bacon here. Welcome back to more Occupus Trip. In the last episode, we took photos for a really lazy guy, shut up an obnoxious fanboy, and collected cake for a sister. And in this episode, we're going to go try to find Shizuku, who ran off seeming rather disturbed at the mention of Rin. We were told to go look on the side streets, so that we will. There we go. And there she is. Ah, uh, I uh, needed some fresh air. It was stuffy in there, so I decided to go on patrol. Sorry for random cut. I just needed to readjust something, and it made a loud noise, so just cut that out. <laughs> It has nothing to do with Rin. I don't hate her. Truly, I don't. <gasps> Look out. Look who it is. Well, well. It's been some time since the useless zealots in my employ reported back to me, so I thought I might come check on them. And who should I find? It's you. Let's not waste any more of my time. You're not worth it. You're not worth much of anything. Thanks. Real self-confidence booster there. Not only did you escape from my facility, but you have the audacity to mobilize against us. Even disposing of trash was kindness. And my time is immeasurably more valuable than yours. Still, perhaps it's fate which is making me do this. Perhaps I should thank you for giving me this opportunity to send you on your way to the next life. That's enough. Hm. I let you get away before. But you're not going anywhere this time. Know the name of your executioner. I, Senya Amo, shall defeat you. And with that victory, my level will rise. Be careful. He's much stronger than any of the others we fought. Speaking of much stronger, you may notice I have a new weapon. Boom. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, we both. Thank you, Shifu. So yeah, um, I was upgrading my weapon at the end of the last episode, and I noticed that I had this aluminum bat that had a base value of 81. Damn it, I missed. And I decided to try it out in between episodes, see if I liked it, and sure enough, I actually did enjoy its moveset, so I decided to put what I put into my wooden sword into the bat and use this from now on. Or at least until I find a weapon I like better. But for the time being, this is my new weapon. Aw, oh, damn it, you ducked under it. Now, try as you might, you are not going to be able to strip him. You can get into- if you get him low enough, you can get into a power struggle and- oh, that's gotta that hurt. But, no matter how much- how far you get, you are not going to actually be able to strip any of his clothing off. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> if I could get into a power struggle to show it off, that would be nice, but... Okay, she's a good back off. I'm getting a little close to the end there. <laughs> the fact that he heals makes this a bit of an annoying fight. Ow. Yeah, he has certain attacks like that, or he just can't be knocked back. Ow. Jesus. Uh, let's try this. Oh, oh, jeez. Come on! Batter up! What the heck? What happened to Shizuku there? She just got like fine. Eventually, once you've damaged him enough. Your child's play is no match for the likes of me. I am the chosen one. My existence far exceeds that of any mob characters you've faced thus far. Now, the time for fun and games has ended. Behold my true power! Look who it is. A 
Of all people to save us, it's the freaking pop star. Who? What? Rin? Why are you here? <laughs> it seems our little dance has been rather rudely interrupted. Of course, you aren't worthy opponents for me in the first place. I suppose my pitiful subordinates are better suited to garbage duty after all. Best of luck in your future struggle. How do you know her? I'm sorry. I'll tell you all about it when the time is right. For now, just please return to my goal. Hmm. Well, something fishy is going on here. <laughs> well, we found Shizuku. But before we head back to base, we got a few side quests to do. So, let's start with this one. A monster in your hand. It seems somebody's been getting a little too into cosplay. <sighs> Damn it, Mom, why do you always have to embarrass your kids? <laughs> You know, actually, the the sad irony is that I'm recording this episode on Mother's Day. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even intend for it to line up that way, but I am. <laughs> okay, she should be around here somewhere. Is she over here? I honestly don't remember where she spawns. Oh, right, I think she's over here. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a Hatsune Miku thing going here. Uh, oh, no, no, Kumi. Not sure who that is. Y you can see why I thought Miku, though. The hair and the leak. And the, even though the colors are a bit off, outfits are style. Anyway, let's talk to her. What's this? Shooting for a horror movie? What do you mean by that? It is kind of cute. What happens if I actually do? Oh my god. Oh my god, that face. I take it back. You are not cute. Let's just get rid of that cosplay. Mm, I'm not sure soft sucking is the right word there. Alright. Boom! Look at that knockback. It, oh wow, this chick got in on it too. Alright. So. You don't have to worry about her too much. Uh, that. That. Is over. I'm just gonna take this chick out, but I'll probably cut it out. Okay, there we go. Got her. <laughs> Nothing really interesting happened. So, that one's out of the way. Beware the power of the pit. Oh, how fitting. I'm already in Electric Count Plaza. Um, now, I might, I've never actually tried accepting a, re a request in the area where the client supposedly spawns. So... I'm not sure. Do I have to leave and come back, or should you just appear? Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna cut away until I find her, because I this might take a bit. I'm not. Oh wait, actually no. Yep, here she is. <laughs> I was worried I was about to cry. 
So a bunch of people gathered together and I got together from the internet oh. one. And so I didn't expect to get into this bin when I saw that. Oh. <laughs> I know. Help me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. I will follow her. And apparently I run faster than she does. Oh, whoa. Where is she going? Oh, she's going this way. Okay. Now, if you lose sight of her, I believe you can just quick travel to where she wants you to go. But. Um, okay, so she should be in here some. I think it's over here. Yeah, here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, she should be hiding around here somewhere. Um, ah, yes, there she is. Stay right here. I suppose no. Uh, um, thank you all for gathering here today. Uh, to be honest, I didn't expect this many people to come. I didn't get permission for such a large gathering either. At this rate, the cops will probably get involved. I'm really sorry. C could you please go home for today? I'm terribly sorry. Everyone, please go home. So she was messing with us. F you. She can't be serious. Oh, okay, she does help us fight. Now, okay, yeah, so it's a full-blown riot. They will be attacking each other as well. It's one of those fights. And I missed. Whoa! Those guys out. Ah. Oh wow, did, did you see that? I, like ducked under one guy and hit another. That was cool. I wonder how she managed to get these many people rallied up in the first place. What did she have that got this many people interested? Ow! That did not go the way I meant for it to. You... I think you can actually like counter attacks as you get up. <laughs> Which can make getting knocked down in the middle of a crowd slightly less painful. <laughs> Fuck, that scared me. I thought I silenced my phone. Suppose this is a good weapon if I ever need to heal. I can just not. When well, there's only like one or two spells, I can just send them flying and then heal while they're getting up. Ow. That. Thank you. Ten down, two to go. Not what I meant to do. You know, I wonder if you have, if you get into those, can you cancel that? I'm curious. I don't want to waste time, but I'll probably try messing around with the off screen, see if I can figure something that can cancel. Oh, I believe that that uh, germ mask he's wearing counts as headgear. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I think it does. Maybe not, it might just be an accessory. 
turn me. Well, we're about to find out. If he'll let us attack him. Oh, for the love of There we go. No, okay, that counts. Alright, it doesn't count, I mean. And all that's left is this guy. And he's down for the count. Okay, there we go. I think I got my phone quiet. Anyway. <laughs> got 5,000 yen for our troubles. Excellent. No, okay. I, I was curious if they actually had, like, a pit of... That would have been a nice little detail if they actually had a pit of feed about that gathering when that side quest became available. But, oh well. And then, this is one of my favorite side quests in the game. Starman Crossed Lovers. <laughs> Client Yuriet. I think you can see where this is going. <laughs> She's in Electric Town Plaza again. A lot of stuff in Electric Town Plaza today. Jeez. Alright, well. Head back there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just want to bring attention, that little thing you saw on the learning screen there, that dish, I have no idea what that is, but every time I've seen it, all I can think is it just looks delicious, and one of these days, I'm actually going to try to create that, just, like, just based on what it looks like. I don't know what the ingredients are, but I'm going to try to make the closest thing I can, like, as long as it looks the same, that's my goal, is to make that. <laughs> and when I do, I'll probably show it off. Anyway. She has a request. It concerns a oh, Lolio, my dear Lolio, how I pray for his safety. My family, the Cap the Caparetos, and his family, the the Montecues, we did our best to hide a relationship from their family, but we were eventually discovered. My father was living, he tried to separate us. We were afraid he would never see each other again. That was when we decided to run away and come here. But when we were seen by our families, they were now confronting each other in anger when uh, da, da, da. Lolio was held captive by the Montecute's family bodyguards at UD+. Please rescue Lolio. So, yes. The Caparetos and the Montecayus are at war over the love between Lolio and Yuriet. You show up here. Okay, they took longer to spawn than they usually do. The speech bubble appeared before it. I just, I love this scene so much. It's just so funny looking. <laughs> the way they're all dancing around and just... <laughs> so, it's not quite organized riot as much as some other fights, but the Montecayas and the Capitatos will attack each other. So... <laughs> It's not a, a horrible idea if, if you're unsure about such a big crowd, you can, uh, similar to the last one we just did, you can try to let them whittle each other down a bit if you want to, uh, ah, geez, that was a bad idea on my part, leave me alone, fucking hell, oh my god, let me go. You do have all of UD plus at your disposal for this. Oh, hello. Thanks for waiting. You do have all of UD plus at your disposal for this fight, so... If you can manage to bait them into the wider area, that's not a horrible idea. But... How I managed to land that attack, I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, um... If you can bait them out, that's not a horrible idea, but I usually don't bother. It's perfectly, This is a decent enough size area to fight in, so it's not a huge deal. Um, that. Yeah, reds are capitatos, 
blocks a Montecaille. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm saying those wrong. I've... Take some of these out. Now, one thing, um, actually, I need to focus on the timing here. Okay, there we go. One thing that's kind of uh, interesting, actually, uh, this game has four different difficulty settings. Easy, casual, gamer, and otaku. I am playing on casual, which, for the I recommend playing casual for the first time. It's pretty much your standard basic difficulty. Gamer is actually pretty tough, and I am um, actually not tried otaku yet, though I do plan to soon. Um, but, uh, for the most part, the increase in difficulty is just a matter of uh, their help, their equipment gets better and their AI gets a bit better as well. The enemy AI actually gets smarter on higher difficulties. They'll counter and dodge and play smarter and stuff like that more often. But there is an interesting difference between casual and easy. And that being that in easy difficulty. Your attacks are all inclusive. Like, here you have, in all other difficulties, you have to target the head, torso, and legs as three separate areas. In, ca in easy mode, that's not the case. You do still have the option to attack all three spots. Your attacks are, they play out the same. However, regardless of where you hit, the attack will deal damage to all three segments at once. And same goes for power struggles. With this power struggle would weaken all three sections. It's an interesting change, but I find it actually really awkward myself. Trying, like, I played on casual on my first time, and as you can see, I, I don't think you really get on me too much for playing casual in the LP. As you can see, it's still, it's not a cop out. Like, the, it, it's still a fair enough challenge. Um, even, even on casual. So, but, I did try playing on easy, um, somewhat recently, just because I had a reason I needed to get through the game really, really quickly. <laughs> just for some preparation sake, there's something I need to do, and I, I just involved beating the game as quick as possible. So I set it on easy just to make it, uh, go a bit quicker. And I have to say, the combat felt really awkward. Like, it, like, I actually, it, it was really weird. That did not go how I intended it to, but okay. <laughs> now there's just a couple more. So yeah, this fight actually doesn't end right there. Once you defeat all those, there's a couple more bodyguards you have to take out. And this time you don't have... Capodesto's helping you out. Oh, uh, Chizuki, you can help. Cheat. Black in the dark. It's kind of hard to see them sometimes. <laughs> it's actually kind of awkward. What? So many bats going around. Jeez. Boom! I think I missed again. That! One down. Oh wow. I know how it feels to be on the receiving end of that. Ow! That hit me. And down he goes. <laughs> and 
and off they go to live happily ever after. No, oh yeah, okay, grab a little bit of stuff that I missed. Anything else? I don't think that's it. Um, speaking of those two, actually, there's something I kind of want to show off. Um, I don't want NPCs here, dude. Hang on. There we go, okay. I left the area and came back, so we should be respawn now. Now, of course, you, all the NPCs just have basic titles. And there's something kind of funny, I believe it's in this area, that I want to show off. Um, anyway, with that, she, she's a coot. Watch where you're going. I say as I ran into her. <laughs> wow, that worked great. <laughs> guy from the organization really puts you through the grinder, huh? Are you okay, Shizuka? I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. <sighs> oh, it's the sisters. I heard you almost got killed, Okoto. What? No, he wasn't almost killed. I mean, he got injured, but it's not like... You can go wherever you want and do whatever you want, and I won't interfere. But if you ever make your adorable little sister worry about you like that again, you better watch your back. I'm very sorry. This whole incident was my fault. Don't waste your time apologizing. Use that energy to help everyone work together and solve the underlying problem. That's all I have to say to you. Does she just love me? No, that's pretty much how she is with everyone. Hmm. Still, she sort of has a point. We really haven't been prepared for what we've been getting ourselves into, you know? Speak for yourself. I'm ready for anything. Hmm. Well, if that's what you think, we might really be in trouble. Well, screw you two. It is rather impressive, though, that you were able to return safely from an encounter with such a powerful enemy. The police showed up, just in time. Hmm. What do we do now, though? We can't let the Synthesters run wild just because one of them finally put up a decent fight, can we? Well, hey, heroes always go up against tough bad guys. Don't matter where or when the story comes from, Hero always gets backed into a corner sooner or later. But then, between seasons one and two, he figures out some new kick-ass move, and then boom! The odds are even again. So now's the part where we suck it up. It's time for a serious training montage. That's all well and good, but training? You got a better idea? There ain't no getting off of this train we're on till we get to the end of the line. Well, I do agree that increasing our attack strength is crucial, but we also need to come up with a viable plan. We need stats and strategy to win here. <laughs> hey, don't let me interrupt. This conversation is fascinating. All this talk of training is so delightfully anachronistic that I couldn't help but overhear. It practically resonated through the streets. Ah, Miss President, welcome. President, who is this lady? She looks expensive. Oh well, yeah, guess you ain't met her yet. This is the lady who gave us that synthesis finding app. Shion Katsuga. You may think of me as a woman of mystery, come to give my support to the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Woman of mystery, huh? You come across more like a queen, like maybe an ice queen. Hmm? What was that? N nothing. He said nothing. I'm Yuto Tachibana, and this man, who simply does not know when to keep his mouth shut, is my brother Kaito. It's a pleasure. A pleasure to meet you both as well. Now then, about this training. Is there any way I might be of assistance? Hmm, I see, I see. So, to summarize, you're facing an extraordinarily dangerous foe, and you want to become as strong as possible in as short a time as possible. I love it, and it would be my pleasure to assist. In fact, 
The whole of Daichi Han Pharmaceuticals is at your disposal. We're behind you 100%. You see, there are numerous secret drugs I've been meaning to test out, and this seems the perfect opportunity. I've been told none of them have any notable side effects, so fear not. You'll be right as rain. That sounds unbelievably shady. Um, may I say something? What? You're already stronger than a normal human being, but I don't think you've yet realized your true potential, so to speak. Your judgment is still untrue. As you continue fighting, however, I believe the circumstances of each battle will help you learn proper technique. So basically, he needs more XP. Learn how to fight against specific opponents in specific situations, right? And that brings us back to you, Pops. What kind of training did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking you could light yourselves on fire and run around, or stop an iron wrecking ball with your bodies. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure neither of those would end well. Yeah, I was thinking more like regular raids. Oh, or wall sitting for a whole day to work my leg muscles. What do you think? Which training method seems best to you? Let's see. I think Shizuku's idea is the best. I ain't talking. My stats are pretty good. Strategy is where I need to get better. Oh. I think that's a mistake, but whatever. Just remember, basic training could do you good. Grow you some muscles. And some guts, too. My, my. I had my hopes up there for a moment, too. Well, if you should ever change your mind, say the word, won't you? Let's go. To the battle arena. I have an idea. Idea, huh? Wonder what. Guess we'll find out when we get there. In the next episode. Knock him dead, kid. <laughs> so yes, we're off to the battle arena, but we will be doing that in the next episode. So see you guys then.